Guided Bone and Tissue Regeneration, Wikipedia Audio Guided Bone Regeneration or GBR, and Guided Tissue Regeneration or GTR are dental surgical procedures that use barrier membranes to direct the growth of new bone and gingival tissue at sites with insufficient volumes or dimensions of bone or gingiva for proper function, aesthetics, or prosthetic restoration. GBR is similar to guided tissue regeneration but is focused on development of hard tissues in addition to the soft tissues of the periodontal attachment. At present, guided bone regeneration is predominantly applied in the oral cavity to support new hard tissue growth on an alveolar ridge to allow stable placement of dental implants. Bone grafting used in conjunction with sound surgical technique. GBR is a reliable and validated procedure. Guided bone regeneration typically refers to ridge augmentation or bone regenerative procedures. Guided tissue regeneration typically refers to regeneration of periodontal attachment. Use of barrier membranes to direct bone regeneration was first described in the context of orthopedic research 1959. The theoretical principles basic to guided tissue regeneration were developed by Melcher in 1976, who outlined the necessity of excluding unwanted cell lines from healing sites to allow growth of desired tissues. Based on positive clinical results of regeneration in periodontology research in the 1980s, Research began to focus on the potential for rebuilding alveolar bone defects using guided bone regeneration. The theory of guided tissue regeneration has been challenged in dentistry. The GBR principle was first examined by Dolan ETAL in 1988 on rats. The selective ingrowth of bone forming cells into a bone defect region could be improved if the adjacent tissue is kept away with a membrane. This was confirmed in a study by Caso Pulos and Caring in 1994. GBR can be used for bone regeneration on exposed implant coils. Recent studies have shown greater attachment gain for guided tissue regeneration over open flap debridement. However, this systematic review has shown that the outcomes following GTR are highly variable both between and within studies. Therefore, patients and health professionals need to consider the predictability of the technique compared with other methods of treatment before making final decisions on use. History Four stages are used to successfully regenerate bone and other tissues, abbreviated with the acronym PASS. The first application of barrier membranes in the mouth occurred in 1982 in the context of regeneration of periodontal tissues via GTR, as an alternative to resective surgical procedures to reduce pocket depths. Barrier membrane is utilized in GBR technique to cover the bone defect and create a secluded space which prevents the connective tissue from growing into the space and facilitates the growth priority of bone tissue. Biocompatible, excludes unwanted cell types, allow tissue integration, creates and maintains space, provided the structure is easy to trim and place. Barrier membrane criteria should be as follows. Several surgical techniques via GBR have been proposed regarding the tridimensional bone reconstruction of the severely resorbed maxilla, using different types of bone substitutes that have regenerative, osseoinductive, or osseoconductive properties which is then packed into the bony defect and covered by reservabel membranes. In cases where augmentation materials used are autographs or allografts the bone density is quite low and resorption of the grafted site in these cases can reach up to 30% of original volume. For higher predictability, non-resorbable titanium reinforced D-polytetrafluoroethylene membranes as a barrier against the migration of epithelial cells within the grafted site are recommended. 
In patients with systemic problems interdisciplinary collaboration is indicated to adjust therapy backgrounds so that it does not adversely affect implantoprosthetic treatment. Current Treatments for Destructive Periodontal Disease are not able to restore damaged bone and connective tissue support for teeth. There are limitations in treating patients with advanced disease but GTR may be able to achieve regeneration and therefore improve upon conventional surgical results. Two types of membranes based on the characteristics and resorbability. Reservabel Fenestration and dehiscence, building up bone around implants placed in tooth sockets after tooth extraction. Socket preservation for future implantation of false teeth or prosthetics, sinus lift elevation prior to implant placement, filling of bone after removing the root of a tooth, cystectomy, or the removal of impacted teeth, repairing bone defects surrounding dental implant caused by periimplantitis, periodontal tissue regeneration following success of cleaning the root surface through root. Surface Debridement There are many different types of reservabel membranes out there but the main ones are synthetic polymers and natural biomaterials. Synthetic polymers are such that it is a polylactic acid bilayer, or the collagen-derived membranes. These membranes can be obtained from bovine or porcine or dermis. E.g. Imdogain which has been shown to significantly improve probing attachment levels and periodontal pocket depth reduction when compared to a placebo or control materials. Resorption rates ranging from 6 to 24 weeks depending on its different chemical structures. With the Reservabel membrane used, the membrane will biodegrade. There is no need for a second surgery to remove the membrane. This will prevent any disruption to the healing process of the regenerated tissues. A synthetic reservabel membrane indicated an amount of stable augmented bone similar to that of a collagen reservabel membrane. These are the results obtained based on a randomized clinical trial done to compare the stability of augmented bone between a synthetic reservabel membrane and a collagen membrane with guide bone regeneration simultaneous with dental implant placement in the aesthetic zone in terms of facial bone thickness. There are several uses of bone regeneration. Overview Application Indications Contraindication Potential Complications <laughs>